Hello everybody, it's me again. Shut up dog. Had a little repair job today, uh, fix up this uh, doucher for my old man. There's still the other one over there with the broken gearbox, I haven't got around to that yet, but I will. Um, I've kind of got a, uh, how would you say it, um, psych myself up to pull that box apart. <laughs> but anyway, back to the subject at hand. Um, this is a Doucher lawnmower, you've probably seen one in my videos before, 26 inch slasher or 660 millimeter as the new ones are. This is actually a newer one, this is a H660. Um, they have a 13 horsepower electric start Honda and uh, this one wasn't electric starting and it had no spark. Um, only took me a very short time to figure out how to pull it apart of course. Um, I bought a brand new battery from Goodchild's, um, chucked that in there. Now the starter wasn't working at first. Um, it was making noises like it was being driven by a pulse width modulation and it was turning very slowly. Uh, I thought, oh yeah, that's going to be shagged. Um, but I pulled it off and it's like brand new inside. Um, just The bushes just seem to be a bit... Well, they're carbon... I should say bushes, I should say brushes, but... The, the, the brushes in there were all covered in kind of like a, a, a copper coating off the, uh, the commutator. And it kind of, for some reason, wasn't contacting too well. I've cleaned all the, the weird copper stuff off and... Now it works fine. I, th I think it may have been there originally to help conduct, I'm not sure, but either way it's turning over quite nicely now. No problems at all. I'm very happy with that. Now, next problem I had was that there was no spark. So I dug in and I pulled the cable, uh, the uh, coil out, and I found it's got a lovely crack all the way through it. It's well fucked. Kind of reminds me of a little flyback transformer actually. Well I know an ignition coil is just a flyback but we're using the magnetism from the magnet in the uh, flywheel there to uh, create a magnetic field in, in, in this uh, iron core which then uh, excites the coils inside when the field collapses. So that's interesting. I never thought they'd be designed like that but they are. Anyway I found a replacement and not a machine that I had out the back. I'm going to test this one. I don't know if it's good or any, any good or not. It does look slightly different. It's slightly smaller, but it came out of a 13 horsepower machine as well, so everything's the same except the, except the actual little uh, potted part there seems to be slightly different. But, uh, yeah. So uh, I suppose I should put that coil in and then see if I can get this thing going. And if I get it going, I'll post another vid, I suppose. Well, I know I'll get it going eventually, just whether it gets done today or tomorrow is the question. I have to go out and buy another coil. Well, it's not going to happen today. Anyway, that's what I've been up to. Thanks for watching.